Des Walker, Nottingham Forest and England centre half. Welcome to the Southern League Goals Show. Are you ready for goals? Because I am. Welcome to week five now of the Southern League Goals of the Week show. And uh, it's a privilege to be here again for the fifth week in a row. And we've got some fantastic goals for you. And tiny little bit of a change to the format. What we're going to try and do now every single week is give you a game of the week. We have a couple of interviews from both of the managers or at least somebody from each side of the uh, of the game. And this week, of course, the game of the week has to be, doesn't it? Ware versus Walthamstow, of course, in the uh, Central Division with a great... I won't tell the score, but it's a lot of goals in this game with some real excitement. We've got an interview with the assistant manager, um, Ricky, uh, from Walthamstow. Also a uh, interview as well with Paul Halsey, of course, the manager of Ware as well. So you can see that straight after the highlights. And then we'll go into midweek action. And then we'll go into this week's, the rest of this week's action. But first things first, a massive thank you, of course, to the legend that is Mr. Des Walker for opening the show for us this week. Enough of me. Let's have a look who won goal of the week last week. Enjoy the goals.
we're joined now by Ricky, of course, assistant manager at Walthamstow. I mean, we've just seen the goals. I mean, what a fantastic uh, uh, game that, that seemed to be yesterday. Well, yeah, it was a, it was a bit of a roller coaster. The, it was, uh, the emotions through that game were unbelievable. I've, I've never, I've said it on Twitter, I, I don't think I've ever been involved in a game that's to and gone to and fro like that, to be honest, especially in the last 20 minutes. I mean, goals was what was it? Uh, I think okay, was it five, six goals in the last sort of ten minutes of the game? Yeah, I think it was. We was well, we was three two, three two up with eighty six minutes to eighty six minutes gone, and then uh, George got injured, and we made our three subs, so it was down to ten men as well on eighty six minutes. I think at around ninety ninety one minutes, we were four three down, and then come ninety six minutes, we won the game six four. So it was a uh, quite unbelievable scenes, to be honest. I mean, but being a game like that must have been in, must have been incredible. What was it like in the dressing room afterwards? I've seen a few clips on YouTube, uh, on uh, Twitter, and that was it. Was it uh, you know? I don't suppose there was not many people out there that could drive home, was it? No, I think well, <laughs> everyone went, everyone was well considering this, we've come in and after the first half, and we've we've had to had to have a bit of a go at them really because it was pretty appalling what they uh, what they put out. I think considering we was one nil up after like I think twenty seconds, we was one nil up. And then we, after that, we just we just didn't get in the game. We're we're done. We're done. What they do, they put pressure on us. They fought in numbers, got the ball from back to front pretty quick, and just consistently put pressure on us. Got a couple of free kicks again, and then we conceded two. Of them. So we come in two one down, and uh, so we had to we had to tear into them a little bit. But it seems to do the trick because second half they came out. It was a different side. Got on the front foot and. Within a certain amount of time, we were three two up. So, what what we said at half time worked, but come come the end of the game, it was uh, there were some scenes in the uh, scenes in the changing room at the end. And I say for that those push still helping you pushing up towards the uh, you know those promotion places as well in those playoff places where you want to be. And every week you seem to be getting close and seem to be on a really good run. Well, you you can't fault we can't fault the boys at the minute. The the attitude in training games. It's, it's second to none at the minute. We get we're getting like twenty two, twenty three training every single week without foul, so, and and that, and they are bang on it hundred percent at the minute. But like, we're on a great run. I think it's is it eight in nine or nine in nine in ten wins. I think it's something something along them lines. Well, listen, Ricky, thanks very much for joining us. We'll let you get back to uh, to what you're up to in your lovely man cave there, and uh, and, and we'll see you next week. Football all day today and up the Rangers. <laughs> Thank you to Ricky and of course now joining us of course he is the uh, where manager of course Mr Paul Halsey and and Paul uh, sort of I suppose from the other side of the fence uh, uh, but still a, an absolute crazy game of football yesterday. Yes, yes, absolutely crazy game of football. Um, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for to get my video now to watch the whole game live, uh, play back so I can watch it and and try and take it in. But if you want an advert for non-league football. At its best, I would say that is probably it. Mm. If you want to promote the, the non-league status of football, then that would probably be the game. I ain't the game for me because I'm on the losing side of it. <laughs> um, but it, it, what a great advert for non-league football. But, you know, for them to take the lead in the first 15 seconds is, 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 is not acceptable. I know that happens in football, of course it does. But the way we can see the first goal in the first fifteen seconds is 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 diabolical. They got the goal, early goal. We got back into it um, and went two one up. And uh, again, we we conceded very early second half to all, and then they took the lead three two. Um, but it was a good game. So we didn't play bad. I think a lot of people are disappointed because we lost, but we didn't play bad. Mm. You know what what we did wrong. Um, and that's why I need to watch the video is we, we conceded six goals that should not have been conceded. Mm. And the minute we went up to 4-3, I then asked the boys, I said to them, look, just sit. The two midfielders have to sit and defend. A minute later, we conceded right through between the, the, the full-back and the centre-half. Fellas run on and, and equalised. And of course, you know, yeah, they might have lost. They lost, I think, they had one of their players and they made all their subs late on in the game. Um... And it was just like a, it was like a boxing match. Then it was like both teams were going for it. You know, four or I think we both would have been at that point happy with a point. Um, 
I'm disappointed how we conceded the goals. And again, you know, we've conceded so many goals uh, in, the, in, in this side of Christmas. Um, and, that, and, and to be fair, the, the form that we've shown after Christmas, we don't deserve to be in the playoffs. You see the form that we, we showed before Christmas, we should be up there competing with Bergham said. So, I mean, at 4 3, though, I mean, you know, very close to the end of the game as well. And I mean, you must have been thinking, you know, I, I've got one over on my old mate. Do you know what I mean? You know, we, we, no, we, I didn't. I, I didn't I mean, think. No, uh, I mean, you know, and, and then sort of just to concede those sort of late three goals, it must have been, you know, soul, dest soul destroyed. It was, it was to concede the uh, fourth, and then a minute later, where it was, it went 5 4. I mean, that's how close all the goals were. Hmm. Um, it took a lot out of me yesterday. It must have took a lot out of the players, both sides, both everyone, even the fans. It's I don't think you might you might I don't know if I've I've been in games like that before, but not not that so many goals in the last ten minutes, five goals or whatever it was. It's it's phenomenal. Once we went in the four three, you know, we we should have just stuck there. You know, people will always say, Oh, should have done this, should have done that, but we should not have conceded that that fourth goal, that equaliser, and we shouldn't have conceded the the fifth goal. Mm. And if you look at the sixth goal as well, we shouldn't have conceded that. It's all errors, all things that should have been stopped, um, and it wasn't. Mm. But it, it it is. I, I ain't gonna lie. That that that's probably one of the the games that's probably affected me. Not because of who they are and who, who, who that manager. I don't care about that. It's just the whole the way we've conceded goals has affected me more as a manager and and I've got to say you know I, everyone watches it I'm very very disappointed um, I, I, on the way we've done that and of course in a few weeks time you've got them again and, and yeah. as, as I said to Ricky if, if you had a couple of hundred people there yesterday two three hundred people there yesterday I think there might be a couple of thousand there wouldn't they down at Wolfenstone if they, if they expect could be you know open for, a, for, for another goal fest I'll bet you, but I'll bet it turns out to be nil-nil. Nil. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet it does. That's exactly what Ricky said, yeah. Absolutely spot on. But listen, uh, Paul, a massive thank you. We really, really thank you for coming on and, and facing up to the camera today and, and wish you and where would You know me, Dave, win or lose, soon. I'm always on here, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Truro City travelled to Paul Town on Tuesday night looking to keep up the pressure on Western Supermare but came away with a 3-0 defeat. Hendon went to Bracknell Town on Tuesday night looking to ease their relegation fears but came away losing three goals to two with another late goal against them in the 89th minute through George Knight.
Fleas Mini Revival came to an abrupt end on Tuesday night, going down by two goals to one to Plymouth Parkway. <laughs> Winchester City picks up a valuable three points at home to Yate Town on Tuesday night with an 87th minute goal giving them the three points. Alba Church were looking for the three points on Tuesday night against Russia Olympic, but it was Russia Olympic that came away with a 2 1 win to make the playoffs a bit easier for them. Colville Town to Constant Ives Town also on Tuesday night and they came away with a 3-0 win making their chances of automatic promotion and five games in hand look a lot easier. A Ryan Turner goal just before half turn gave Biddyford a 1 0 win over ever improving Bristol Manor Farm. And now it's time for all the action from this weekend's games. Another goal fest at Swindon Supermarine as they beat Truro by three goals to two. And that's Truro's second defeat inside a week. Get to the fuck! 
Paul Town travelled to Bracknell Town at the weekend and came away with the three points thanks to two late goals, one in at either half and they jump above Bracknell in the Premier South. Hanwell Town's poor run of form continued at the weekend as they went down by goal to nil thanks to Roger James at Hayes in the Eddy. Memorial playing fields on Saturday, Winchester took on Hartley Whitney and came away with a point each. Plymouth Parkway came away with another three points with a consecutive 2-1 win over Yate Town after beating Northley by the same score in midweek. Nuneaton Borough kept up the pressure on the top two with a 2-1 win against bottom place AFC Rushton and Diamonds.
St. Ives Town and Barwell shared the points in their game this weekend. But look out for two fantastic goals in this game that have made our goal of the week poll. The machine that is Burke Hampstead kept their run going with a 3-0 away win at Welling Garden City. A look out for a stunning goal in this game. One of the early pace setters in the Central League in Kempston Rovers, they went down 2-1 at home to playoff chasing Didcot Town. Hamworth United back in step four and pushing for that promotion place and keeping AFC Totten and Scholing true as they win 3-1 against Exmouth Town. Two playoff clubs in the south met each other on Saturday and it was Bashley that won by five goals to nil against Wimble to really put themselves in with a chance of making the playoffs. Yes! Come on, Billy! <laughs> Yes. 
Table sides met each other in the South Division last weekend as Bidford won by two goals to nil against Froome Town. It's Goal of the Week time, and here's your four nominations. this week from week five and of course you've also seen the four nominations as well this week for the goal of the week as well so make sure you get voting at the southern league twitter feed for that as well a massive thank you and of course also as well please keep subscribing keep watching and please keep sharing clubs come on let's subscribe to the youtube channel let's put uh you know, some sharing out there of the, the tweets that go out about this programme. Let's try and get these numbers back up to where they should be. It's the programme everybody wants. All the goals from the Summer League every week. All the ones, of course, that get sent in to us. So please enjoy the show every week. But for me this week, a massive thank you as well uh, for the amount of subscribers that we did get this week and the amount of views we have had. Again, massive thank you to Des Walker. Um, and, but until next week, good night.